this tutorial, we're going to explain how to use a simple tool that is included in this app 4.5. We have opened this app, this app program, and inside accessories, we have different tools, including the introductory crop simulation tool. Click on that. Going to explain how to create an experiment. This tool has been designed to, uh, to perform simulations one at a time. Let's consider first uh, the, an experiment name. We will name it UCCO8705. That's only an example. The institute code is UC for University of Córdoba, CO for Córdoba, and the experiment number is going to be 0005. We need to use four digits. We select the crop that we want to simulate. We're going to be simulating maize in this example. And within the maize, if we open the possible cultivars, we're going to choose medium season cultivar. Inside the weather stations, we go and select data from UCCO. Let's see, we found them. UCCO, there, there we go. And we select a soil. In this case, we're going to use one of the different default soils that we have available, we're going to use a default medium sandy loam. Okay. We can change the initial conditions for the simulations. Uh, the water in percent of available goes from 0 to 100. If it is 100, it means that we have a full soil profile with water. Also for inorganic nitrogen, we can Select here the amount that will be considered. Once we have this basic information, usually we would go to management. In management, we see first on the left, uh, on the left of the uh, of the form, we see the different years available. We have 1987 available, and we're gonna plant on March. First, 1987. The plant population for a maize crop is going to be, for instance, eight plants per square meter. And the row spacing, let's say 70 centimeters. In this lower part, we have the possibility of applying irrigation or fertilizers. To apply irrigations, going to add one irrigation on a given day, it might be for instance on April the 1st, 1987, we're going to apply a sprinkler irrigation and a total amount of 100 milliliters. We can add more irrigations, let's assume that we're going to apply a second irrigation on May the 1st, also with 100 millimeter. We're going to apply another one on June the 1st, also with 100 millimeter, and a final one on June the 15th. We have defined the irrigations and now we can apply nitrogen. Let's uh, consider that we're going to apply nitrogen at the start of the crop sowing. We click on the type, for instance, we're going to apply urea. We can apply 100 kilos of urea and plant. And let's consider that we're going to apply. Uh, another 100 kilos of 
of nitrogen on May 1st. Okay. So we have already defined the irrigation applications, the fertilizer applications, and finally we define the possible harvest, which can be performed at physiological maturity or, or on a given date. We're going to assume that it is performed at physiological maturity. We click OK and we can go directly to perform the simulation of maize with a medium season a genotype on a medium sandy loam in Cordoba in 1987 with the irrigations and fertilizer applications that we have already defined. We go and simulate. In principle, every time we do a simulation, a file will be generated. The file would be called UCCO0005, as you see, is the institute code, site code, and experiment number. And the extension MZX is for maze. We click on accept and then the simulation is performed. Every simulation will generate a number of files. Here is the total list of the files and some of the main uh, files are the summary which only saves a very specific data for the whole season and also the overview uh, overview file which is the one shown here which provides most the important things that have happened during the simulation. Let's check this simulation overview file. We have first the run number, run number one, the name of the file and the model, which is the series maze. The, this is the name of the experiment, as we already defined it. We have a single trip. With IC sim, we can only perform one simulation at a time. But every time that we perform a simulation, with a given set of irrigation dates or fertilization, Dates, it will also calculate a second run which is for potential conditions. See, this is the run 2. The run 2 will be always for potential conditions, which means that nitrogen or water will not be limited. Going back to the simulation we have performed. We will briefly see some of the information that we have in the overview uh, file. We have, as you remember, a medium sandy loam. We irrigate on the reported dates, applying four applications, a total of 400 millimeters. We consider the simulation of soil nitrogen and nitrogen uptake. It, obviously, there is no nitrogen fixation, we apply two uh, amounts of 100 kilos of, of nitrogen as urea at two different dates. Here we have more, more different uh, options for the simulation. We won't stop now at this. These are the default conditions that are used for the simulations. And lower, we will find a table describing the soil, lower limit, which means permanent wilting point, upper limit of field capacity, saturation uh, soil water, extractable soil water at the beginning, extractable soil water for the soil, for each layer, initial soil water, root distribution factor, which decreases with depth, book density, pH, nitrate concentrations per layer, and nitrogen concentration as ammonium, 
for each layer. Finally, organic carbon as percent of the soil mass. More parameters are related to the soil, like the soil albedo or the evaporation limit for first stage evaporation. The runoff curve is 70. The drainage rate factor is 0 0.5. And we have selected a medium season maize cultivar. These are the parameters of this cultivar P1, P2 and P5 are related to phenological development which means the duration of the different phenological stages, while G2, G3 are related to the yield components, number of, is of grains and the growth of each grain. The pH int is the philochron interval, in this case 38.9. Below we see a summary of the simulation already performed. We, have in, we see in this table different dates, the crop age starting at sowing with zero, the growth stage going from sowing until harvest, the biomass of the crop, the leaf area index, the leaf number, the crop nitrogen in kilo per hectare or as percent of the shoot biomass. And here we see the stress for water and nitrogen. We see that in this case we have some water stress at the beginning of grain filling. This factor may go from 0 to 1. If it is 1, it is maximum stress. We have also some moderate nitrogen stress during the final part of the season. In the lower part we see also a table showing some important variables related to this specific simulation, like a thesis date, days after planting, 85, physiological maturity, yield at harvest, in this case 4.5 tons, number of seeds at maturity per meter per square meter, unit weight at maturity means grams dry matter per grain, number at maturity number per unit would mean the number of uh, of grains per uh, per unit. Uh, tops weight at maturity would be shoot biomass. By product produced would be the stock, maximum leaf area index, harvest index at maturity, etc. Even below we have a summary of environmental conditions and stress factors for the different stages of this specific growing season and simulation. From emergence to the end of the juvenile phase, from juvenile phase to floral initiation, from floral initiation to end of leaf growth, then until the beginning of grain filling and then the grain filling phase. For each one we see the duration in days and the average environmental conditions like maximum, average maximum temperature, minimum temperature, solar radiation, pho uh, photoperiod in hours, CO2 concentration and the cumulative rainfall and evapotranspiration for the different stages. We see that for this specific simulation a cumulative ET has been 464 and rainfall has been 90. Finally, in this part the model provides different indexes related to the productivity of the crop. For instance, the ratio between dry matter productivity and transpiration. As you see, the yield was 4.5 tons, which compares to a potential of 